Fan TV here with Will Weldon and uh, Robbie Ferrara. Uh, Will, man of the match tonight. Uh, I, I don't really know what to make of it. A 9-6 aggregate uh, uh, victory because of the playoff uh, rule that was established overnight. But uh, goodness me, a, a strange feeling in the crowd and, and perhaps on the team as well. Yeah, obviously we, we didn't realise until we got to the rink today what had happened. So um, we, we came here looking to win a game. You know, obviously two goals down and we, we wanted to turn that around. I think... Credit to Swindon, they could have just packed up the tent at 5-0, um, but, but they played well tonight and I think, um, you know, obviously alongside Bays and Stoke, you've probably got the top three teams in the league, so a good team was going to have to go out of this and, you know, unfortunately the rules have uh, worked against them, but the season we've had, I think it's about time that we got a bit of luck from the league. We didn't seem to have had too much of that, Robbie. It, it is it's strange, isn't it? A, a 4-2 defeat last night, and then tonight it's gone 6-3. But uh, uh, to go through, you know, is, are there mixed emotions, or is it just straight? Where we're happy to be there now. Well, I think at this point in time, it's a little bit mixed. I think we've lost two games this weekend, which which isn't great. But obviously, the plus side is we've we've got through. So I think after tonight, we need to forget about the circumstances and just focus on next weekend and then the weekend after. So. Uh, last night was uh, a, a game of two halves in a sense. Uh, I thought we we were uh, at four-one down. It was looking tough for us down in Swindon last night, and then the, the second half of the second period and the third period, I thought we were played re some really really good hockey, and, and perhaps unlucky just to have a two-goal deficit. I thought it could be just shaved down to one, um, and then tonight that third period blew it away, didn't it? Yeah, last night I think you. You're completely right. We we didn't start the game well, um, but we, we played ourselves back into the tie, and um, yeah, we could have probably had another goal and, and come back with a with a one goal deficit. Um, third period tonight, it's not what we want to do, you know, concede in, in bunches like that. But it just they've got they've got a really big team, strong forwards, and and they worked well down low. And I think there was a couple of them that King couldn't see with the traffic they had, and you know, unfortunately that can happen when you're playing against a quality opposition. And it's Robbie's, I guess it's so hard to get off and, and change the lines. Uh, we, we chip it out. It's in the it's in the uh, neutral zone. Picked up by a red shirt every time, and it comes again in waves. Yeah, that's that's our puck management. It's our our bad. We need to try and obviously keep control of that puck and allow ourselves to make them changes. But they put the pressure on. They had to to try and get these five goals back. Um, I think as much as it's uh, it's a negative to let three goals in such a short space of time but you take the positive that we went then went about 15 minutes I think gets tight and it's a clutch performance and we all defended really well blocking shots battling hard in the corners so I think you take the positives there as well and, uh, the, these games this game here uh, and last night the game against Basingstoke here uh, the, the roof nearly comes on it's what we've missed all year isn't it yeah these are, the, these are the games that I think the fans want to see week in week out and as players we want to play in games like this week in week out um, it's fun to, fun to have the crowd going like that and hopefully um, we'll have the same next week and we can put in a performance to get them going. Absolutely. Look, thanks for joining us. I know you need to get to the locker room, so we'll, we'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.